Hello, thank you for joining this video. Here we'd like to explore the mega menu block for your Shopify store for your header section. So first of all, uh, let's take a look at our demo store. This is our game theme demo store in theme style The Lace. And here, when we hover on this first sale menu, this is the mega menu that we see. So as you can see here, we have uh, two types of sub menus and we also have the third level menu so this will be the first level menu this is the second level menu and this would be the third level menu and we also have some images in here as you can see we have the product card and we have the image in here now let's go to our theme customizer to recreate this mega menu block so we go to our theme customizer here in the header group and then underneath the header, just click here to see add block. And first of all, we add the first block in here, which is mega menu. So now we need to click on the block itself. And first of all, as you can see, we need to enter the menu handle. So the name of our menu. So keep in mind that in handle format, all letters must be in lowercase and white space replaced with dashes. So even though your menu can be written in all caps or start with a capital letter, keep in mind that, that in this menu handle, you need to write everything in lowercase. And if you have more than one words, then replace the white space with dashes. So first of all, we need to choose the menu that would like to be located in this mega menu block. So for this, we go to our Shopify admin panel our menu that we've added before and then we see all of these menus in here keep in mind that we've prepared several videos on how to set up the header section the different types of menu so check the description box there will be all the necessary videos listed including the video on how to create and add your menus okay so we have several types of menus in here and we have this summer sale menu as well as this shop menu that have several um, several levels within them so the summer sale would be the first level menu then we have these skirts the second level menu and we have these products in here so let's add this summer sale menu so keep in mind these are two words so white space between them should be replaced with dash and it's all should be written in lowercase so we enter summer in lowercase dash sale now let's save our changes and let's take a look at our store. So we click here on view. And now in here, as you can see, we have this summer sale. As you can see, it is the last in this order. If you want to change the order, you just need to simply go to your Shopify admin panel, click here and move it up front. Now let's save our changes and let's take a look at our store once again. So you can see our summer sale is now um, the first in the order. So we have the skirts here and we have the tops in here. And as you can see, we have these products as well. So now let's come back to our here to our um, theme customizer. And next we need to choose the menu type tabs, which is uh, which is this one here, or we can change it to list so just let's change from tabs to list now let's save our changes as well and we need to take a look at our store once again let's click here view and now as you can see this is how it looks like so we have skirts tops and we have uh, these sub menus so when we go back to the admin panel here when we click on added summer sale as you can see instead of the actual link we've just simply added this hashtag so that our summer sale menu this one is not clickable so this is just simply a name of the menu if you want uh, it to look the same way you can just simply add the hashtag here however when we open our summer sale, these skirts and tops, they are clickable. So when we click on add it here, as you can see, the skirts leads to the skirts collection. And we have the list as the um, type of our menu. As you can see, when we hover on summer sale, we can click on skirts and it leads us to the skirts collection. But in here, we just simply add 
a few examples of the products and the same with tops it leads us to the tops collection so now let's return to our theme customizer and let's see what else we can do in here first of all we see the batch text and the batch text color and batch background color so you can add any badges for example if we go to our theme um, theme style demo store we see in the shop the badge here so we can do the same in here so our menu is called summer sale so let's just simply add the sale badge uh, we can change the color for example you just simply need to enter the css code if you don't know the code of your desired color you can just simply uh, go in google and for example green color code just enter it and here as you can see we have this dark green let's just copy this color and in here let's just enter so this is our color let's save the changes and we can change the batch text color if needed as well now let's go to our store and as you can see we have the summer sale and we have the dark green badge sale so this is how to add the badge to your menu uh, then we can add our images so as you remember here we have in the demo store here we have a product and an image so you can choose to add two products or two images or one product and one image so to do so uh, first of all let's add the image we have the media item one we just need to click on select and let's scroll through here to choose the image that uh, might be appropriate for our summer sale so for example you just go through these products that we have in here uh, let's just add a top or a skirt just so that it's uh, kind of on on the nose with our menu so let's just scroll scroll through here until we find the proper uh, picture uh, keep in mind that of course uh, you can uh, if your pictures are named you can of course find them through search in here so for example let's choose this image of this top and next we have the label and heading so as you can see here uh, we can add this um, this text for example uh, so let's just enter don't miss the sale and let's now add shop now here so uh, since we've added the image of the top we can also add the link and we can choose to add the link to the product specifically or to the collection or to the blog post or to any of your pages so this is certainly up to you feel free to link up the image with anything you want uh, but for our example let's choose collections and let's choose tops and here as you can see where we can add the product instead of the image but for now let's save it as it is and we'll add the product in our second image example so now we go to the store here and as you can see we now have our image and as you can see it has the overlay that you can disable or enable from your header section so let's come back to header here and as you can see in here in colors we have the mega menu image overlay you can for example um, just simply remove it remove the gradient and let's save our changes and now let's take a look at our store once again keep in mind that by now we have only one image and we'll add another right now so we have this image here we have the text don't miss the sale shop now and once we click on the image we go to the tops uh, to the tops collection so now let's return to our mega menu here and now we go to our second media item so instead of image here we'll add the product and as you can see if you select a product a product card will be displayed instead of the image with text so now let's click here on select product and in here let's now add a skirt since we've already added the top so let's um, choose this linen mini skirt let's now click select and now let's save the changes and now let's take a look at our store just click on view here 
and now we hover on summer sale and as you can see we have the image here and we have this product here so we also have the quick view the compare products and we get the name and the price and once we click on it we go to this product page so this is how you add your menus you can also add the images the products to the mega menu block this is all of the settings for our block and in the next videos we'll take a look at other mega menu blocks so stay tuned and thank you very much for your time if you have any questions feel free to contact our support team we're always here for you and don't forget about our theme menu where you can also find all of this information in here thank you for your time take care bye